and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Siver Ziggs, our last viewer submitted donation deck today. This is going to be a landmark heavy deck with Siver and Ziggs. And the reason why is because we want four landmarks to be destroyed, four allied landmarks to be destroyed. And of course, the reason why we want that is to level up Ziggs, but that's not the only reason. We are also going to be playing Herald of the Magus, that if we have those four plus allied landmarks destroyed, then we can summon Herald of the Magus and grant our champions everywhere plus two, plus two, and overwhelm. That really adds in some power on both champions. Sivir turns into a 7-5 with Overwhelm, so your leveled up Sivir is, grant, or is giving Overwhelm to all of your units when it's attacking. Busted. But Ziggs, Ziggs, because at that point, if you have that happen, then of course Ziggs is leveled up because it has the same level up clause. So you're talking about for 3 mana, you get a 6-7 Overwhelm that also does 2 to the blocker and 2 to the enemy Nexus. That is just crazy, crazy stats for 3 mana. So that's what we got. We got the, our two champions with that. We also have a couple of gold ambassadors, so we can make them even larger with another plus two, plus two. We'll have a ride of calling that can help draw those champions as well. Um, and then uh, another kind of spicy card that's in here, Waste Walker. Play this, then st start destroying your ally landmarks. Grant that Waste Walker plus one, plus one each time. And, uh, you know, have another big overwhelm threat. So it looks like a pretty cool little list here. Again, viewer submitted list. You know, like Waste Walker is a card I don't usually play. So it's going to be uh, f interesting to try that one out. So let's get to it. Let's let's get to it. Let's play some Siver Ziggs. Heading on over to Ranked. And we'll play our five games over there. So I realized that, I just realized yesterday we went 2-3 with every deck. Today we're 2-3 with both decks. Can we break the 2-3 curse? <laughs> We've had a lot of two threes in a row. Uh, Echo Zillion. Let's send all those back. Let's keep Ziggs. All right, I like this hand. I like starting with the chemist. That's gonna kind of be the most powerful start for us. Round one chemist. We did talk about it earlier, every time I play against Zillion Swain, they have a round two Hexite Crystal. Every time, so that's the first step to round two Hexite Crystal. Whoa, no predict card? No round two Hexite Crystal. How about that? I'll just go ahead and play the Ziggs. Because Ziggs' ability deal one to the blocker just gets rid of that right away. Okay. I'll pass. Rock Hopper. So we go Rock Hopper and Chemist and get two more landmarks and play that way, or maybe go the Golden Ambassador. So they had the Zillion, so they could have got the round two Hexite Crystal. Oh, but they put another Hexite Crystal in. And they missed it. Good question. Nobody knows. Last to not remain, buys me a new sale. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. All right, got another Ziggs. Oh, I'm not exactly sure what that, um, what that, um, voice line was. Yeah, I missed it. I didn't, I didn't, I don't know exactly what that voice line was. The League of Legends fandom page, if you, you can type in, it's also for... There's a link to legalegends.fandom.com. Also has 
um, Legends of Runeterra on there. And if you click on any, you know, if you could, you type in any card name in the search, if you go to it, it, it says all the voice lines for that card. We live in hallowed times. No, not Ziggs. I want to sit there. So, when this route with the Golden Ambassador, because um, I want to be able to, like, you know, I want to play Waste Walker and Naturalist the same round. I'm going to play those two together. Okay, so another time bomb. I guess I could just destroy their time bomb. History is whatever. I don't know. I'm not getting the the five four, so maybe that's why this is a mistake. But this does this means their zillion doesn't level up, and like that's like the big thing. It, that thing doesn't level up. I could let my Ziggs die, considering I have more larger Ziggs. Real good to see you. What's up, Young Pipe? Thanks for the raid. Welcome, everybody. We're playing some fun decks today. We got. Silver Ziggs here. Ah, oh, they found another time bomb. So they will be leveling up their zillion after all. Not much to do about that. Great future. Just as I always known it would be. Just can't wait! Here we go! Man, our hand's really awkward. Alright, so we're gonna... Probably just destroy... Oh, boo, 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 boo. Okay, well... I guess we destroy a mana gem. For that. Oh, but I wanted I don't want to draw Ziggs. Yeah, I guess we have to destroy Nandem. You say we could kill the two one, because it's gonna die anyway, but then you know they cast the Hexite Crystal, and then it kills it, then we don't get two. So we'll do this to draw a Sivir. Oh, they're counterfeit copies, the Hexite Crystal. Now they found that, they've been waiting to do that, I guess. So they're And now they're just going to make more Hexite Crystals with the Zillion. That's pretty nice. Yeah, it's basically like if I would just kill the Zillion, we'd be good. But I can't kill the Zillion. That's kind of that's all, all I need to do is just kill Zillion. So, of course, their plan is just play this right now, so that does two, and then they go to their next round, they make two more Hexite Crystals, and so that does another s four, so that's six total. So, I guess that doesn't kill Ziggs. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. Yes. 
Man, Just that's silly. <laughs> Level up Ziggs is pretty nice. It's only doing four, so it's not killing either thing. Good. Had to have them not hit a Hexite Crystal. They should definitely, like, cast the counterfeit copies on their Hexite Crystal first and then do that. Okay, so if I, so Rock Hopper says last to Nashra May buys me a new sale, and Nashra May is a port city in Sharima where the Sun Disk lies. Cool. Okay, so that doesn't tap him out, so he still have four mana left. I should have had Sivir attacking first, but... Alright, we're to kill Zillion. That's great. That's great news. But all these Hexite Crystals, not so great news. We could really use Omegas and Card Draw. Do we have Card Draw in here? I would assume we have Preservariums, right? Yeah, there's three Preservariums. Yeah, really we need, like, Preservarium into Omegas. Preservarium into Preservarium into Megas. Right of the Arcane, maybe the worst draw on the deck. Oh, uh, that's funny. Sorry. I guess we get two of those. Step lightly. Curse relics. We made it. Yay. Discard right of the arcane. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Loop Travelers. Yes. Turn right of the arcane into useful stuff. Yeah, they're just gonna have more hexite crystals. More exciting than an unsolved mystery. So I'd assume we're going to get burned out by Hexite Crystals, realize that we're at 7. Time to bust out some combustion. I would assume that's what's going to happen. But we can hope. That does two. So I went to Naturalist here because I want three blockers. Go block, block, block. And Hourglass. Don't want to give them the time trick. You guys gonna be okay. So 
So the good news there, of course, is that they don't get the time trick. You dropped something. I dropped everything. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. Well, that was not too bad. Sever. So I think we have one Sivir and one Ziggs left in the deck. If I go Golden Ambassador. Alright, good draw. Oh, rude. Well, that's too bad. All of this is ours. Heroes go hungry. So I have to imagine they have more hexite crystals in hand. Business as usual. You wanna catch the sky? Alright, so that game didn't go very well for us. Yeah, I think one Herald, we win that game pretty easily. But we didn't have it. <laughs> There's Herald this time. Now, I don't I don't know if I can keep you against the aggro deck. Obviously, I love the Chemist. I think we can probably keep the Preservarium. You know, that's the one that... Can we keep that? We probably can. Oh, that is... Not very good for keeping that chemist. Or keeping the preservarium, getting more preservariums. Rock hopper, good. Rock Hopper, good. Go get the shiny dog. Okay, so I can attack for seven here, but I don't think I do. Because I attack for seven, then they get to play Zed afterwards, and then. I like just passing here and not letting them play the Zed afterwards. And just having them waste their three mana, having them waste a round. Without a sound. See, yeah, that was definitely their plan, was Zed. Now we can go stun. And now we get to challenge Zed next round. Never see me coming. I've never tried this chemical before. Down from the tree. We've dealt three damage. That's not very much. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. And you won't believe what we found today. My shield is yours. Bleh. It's a living. Looking for this. No closer. I always get blown out by Bright Steel Protector. Should have just opened intact. You know, I wanted to be able to have like the five challenge instead of a two or a three challenge to make it so just like a sharp side or a twin disciplines wouldn't save. Okay, so all that does is just give them a three one. I'm not too mad at that. So only one mana left.
I don't imagine they can save this thing for one mana. Okay, so we both got four cards in hand, even though one of ours is a creative card. But we got the better board. Pledge yourself to the shadows. All of this is ours. Ziggs. Do not deny me. Big Ziggs. We'll go through and be able to draw another. Oh. Okay, cool. Delphinus with the donation deck with an updated Nami Soraka. Thank you very much. One mana short from playing Harold Danzig's. This will be a blast. You're covered. Zero out of four. I am getting tired of Bright Seal Protector, not gonna lie. So 18, that's 23. This is 6, 7, 8, which would be enough to give the rest of these for the pack. So they can kill my Sivir by blocking Sivir, but that's going to be lethal. Uh, we also have, you know, we have another Sivir in hand. Okay. End up getting there, so they. I don't know what those last three cards in hand were, but they must have been just like you know sharp sights and twin disciplines and stuff like that that didn't and rallies or something. I don't know. Something that didn't stop this damage from happening. So we ended up getting there. GG's one on one. All right, Timo Ezreal. Are Wastewalkers good against Teemo Ezreal? I could see Wastewalkers being pretty good. Especially with the start, I like it. So, you know, we have the Chemist on one. We can save the two mana for the Hourglass. We can play the Wastewalker. And then even another way, you know. Yeah, I think this is just a pretty good start. In our first three rounds, pretty well in order. So they do have, you know, get excited or whatever removal for Wastewalker, we can save it. They're out there. I'll spot them. For the homestead. I don't love the trade, but you know, it's just kinda how it is. Then get to draw a card. I don't think taking the damage is a benefit in any way. I don't want to deal with Mystic Shot and stuff. We'll just we'll just pass that on there. Time for a true display of skill. Hmm. It's not bragging if you could back it up. This Ezreal is really, really annoying. It's quite annoying. Because of stuff like this. Firing. And 
It's a tough setup. So I'm not using the hourglass to save it because I feel like we'll we should probably just use hourglass and save these things. The problem here with the ambassador is that it dies to the mystic shot, but it does draw us this really big zigs and just uses more mana. Well then. Not going after Golden Ambassador. That's pretty natural. A little boom and one really big one. All right, let's go get him zigs. Okay. So the main question is. We'll go here or here. Going there, of course, gets the sarcophagus, which is good. Yeah, we'll just go this way. I think I want that sarcophagus. Uh, but, you know, doing this means the 3 2, you know, like they get a really nice block with their 2 1 on the 3 2. But I think that's okay. I was expecting this 3 2 to die anyway, last round of the Mystic Shot. Because if I have my 3 2 block, you know, challenge the 4 3, then, you know, maybe this 3 3 never dies and. All that. Okay. That's fine. And they really don't want to take much Nexus damage. Great card draw. Try to take down this Ezreal. That was very good card. So they're doing that so they target, uh, they you know, they target one of my units for this Ezreal. <clears throat> to level that up. Now these, now they get to play the Mushroom Clouds before attacking to level up Teemo and they're doing Nexus damage with them. Rather get Ezreal out of here. It's creating that mystic shot. Alright, I'll, I'll let it be. Time we gotta let it go. Let it go. Man, I want to play the Herald of the Megas here. But we got the... Sing me the, song of the, rock. the space for this right now. Because this is looking like a pretty good open attack. I don't want to draw cards because all of our cards have a bunch of puff caps. So we don't want to play this here. Like, we're not good for playing this Rider Calling. We got a ride negation. I'm a peddler, not a yeah, I let him draw a card so that we could have this awesome open attack and everything. It's just one card. Because then they like play like two or three spells to try to stay alive, and then we ride negation. It's it's all about that. Like it's the problem. Like the only thing that could stop us is frostbite, is what I was gonna say. And 
Obviously, then they immediately get a frostbite card. But it still kills their Peddler, kills their Teemo. Puts them down to four. That's how we lose. Well, sometimes you take lines and they work out, sometimes you take lines and they don't. I love the smell of mushrooms in the morning. If if I just you know, so obviously I should not have played the, the naturalist, I should have just played the herald. Um, you know, we're looking at about the same amount of damage, then I could have, you know, kept Naturalist in hand, but all the blow up Hexcore Foundry. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't, I guess. Finding details is my duty. Nine puff caps on the top card. Uh, Ride of Calling cannot destroy a landmark. Okay, Poppy Tarek. This is going to be the Golden Ages deck. Ride of the Arcane is really good against Poppy, not so much Tarek. Ride Negation is actually good against Golden Ages, though, so maybe I should keep that. We're going to want Landmarks to destroy for the Ride of the Arcane. No, we'll send it back. I don't know. I could kind of see keeping that because of how good a Golden Ages is for them. You know, that's the point that Ezreal just did too much work for them, and then early on, and then there was only one thing that could stop me was Frostbite. They had it, and had a good amount of Frostbite in hand, or good amount of cards in hand, so maybe I could have played around that better. Gonna sharp side and trade. Okay, I was kind of I was kind of expecting sharp side and trade. Um, what I was most scared of was mentor the stones right there. You know, like they could like mentor the stones trade. But I I really didn't want to waste mana. So I really didn't want to do that. But now it's pretty good for us. Each life. It's not that good. Wow, they had no spell. Awesome. Taking ta taking down a Taric is big time. Hey, what's up, Sivir? Alright, so Zig's at 3 out of 4. I think we gotta just take it. I could block the Ibex with a 2-1 and turn the Ibex into a 2-1, and so then I have a cleaner attack with um, the Zig's. This so just keeps working, and I keep not expecting it to work. Break their spirits and their swords. 
Herald. So I really want to play Herald, but then I don't have Quicksand available. So they can make... By just attacking here, they make this 4, 5, they make Protégé 5 power, so yeah, we gotta keep Quicksand available. Cool. Alright, so now we know we could let Ziggs die. But if, if they challenge Sivir, we protect Sivir. Ziggs, we don't need to protect Ziggs. Because we have our this three mana is for Quicksand, but then we also have Harold and Ziggs for next round. That's eight total mana. So like we have a perfect amount of mana for Harold, Ziggs, and Quicksand. Man, that thing's six seven. That's big. We've got things to do. Okay. So all that dies. It's gonna be twenty nine out of thirty for leveling up Sivir. So I guess this little scrappy bomb will level it up, but of course, then with the Ziggs also, so Sivir will be leveled up next round. Yeah, I was thinking about that, that maybe I shouldn't be killing the Mentor of the Stones, and yeah, now I kind of regret killing the, the Mentor of the Stones. Giving them some gems. The Mentor was just going to be an annoying blocker, but it did have Vulnerable. Yeah, I probably should not have killed the, the Mentor. First time getting Harold. Harold with these champs is Danger really nice. Alright, so the 8 6 blocks the 4 4. I guess we don't really have to let them do that. We've got one quicksand for protection. It's so much overwhelm damage. It's 16, 20, 22 overwhelm damage. Yeah, it's 22 overwhelm damage. Man, that's that's brutal for them just having to sacrifice a Sith like that. Oh, don't. Oh, they're gonna Golden Ages. No, Poppy. Man, that's a lot of champions. All right, Waste Walker blocker. Waste Walker Blocker. Stand resolute. Shatter them. Ready, Hammer? Run them through. Aha. So they're messing up the order here. Poppy needs to be first, needs to be before Tarek. So then Poppy will buff up Tarek. Right now, the Tarek's just gonna get buffed up by the eye backs and then just be five. And then that's it. It's, then it won't get buffed up by the poppy. So yeah, they, this is the wrong order. If they had the poppy first, then then the Terek would be six. That's all. I might as well just use an eight nine there. Anyway. Here's your cut. I mean that kills all their stuff. <laughs> and that will do. All right, two and two. Alright, 3 2 Dream is still alive. I brought my own Biowax. Alright, so can this be the 3 and 2 finally? Or will we die to a bunch of elusives? Could go either way. Let's go ahead and keep Sivir. Send back the other stuff. I would really like a desert naturalist blowing up this hexplosive minefield, or or ride of calling. Ride of calling also good blowing up the hexplosive minefield with that. 
Another one of those. Alright, play Ziggs before attacking or open attack. We'll go Ziggs before attacking. Alright, we'll light the fuse. Don't you worry about that. Yeah, it'll be tough to beat this deck. We we did defeat it earlier. Like this is one of our two wins so far with this deck, but our opponent had a pretty poor hand. They had like nothing on one, nothing on two, just a Zed on three and we were able to win. It was, a, it was still pretty close, but we were able to win. We made the Zed vulnerable, challenge it with Sivir, stuff like that. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Don't keep having Bright Steel Protectors, please. That was the card that was really annoying last time. It was Bright Steel Protector. All right, team. Adventure time. Danger pays. I guess Zed's scarier than Poppy. Zed just being those multiple bodies. This also means like Sharp Sight doesn't save Zed, or Sharp Sight would save Poppy. So seven puts him down to seven. I got an idea. I am the blade in the darkness. Still attacking with Poppy. Okay, I was gonna say. Oh, so I blocked the wrong thing. I should let the Zed do damage to me and then block the Living Shadow because then we deal five damage and then my Sivir is at 28. I blocked the wrong thing there. Yeah, I walked the wrong thing. Looking for this. This one's trouble. Hope you're sturdy. Ranger's resolve is good. Blades, sand, and treasure. We obviously can't let that happen. No rallies. Love the quicksand. Then get rid of a quick attack. Love that. And now, Ready, now this is four to four. That's all. Oh, this thing goes to a four three. Okay, that's good. That's pretty good. Hopefully we don't just die here to like some elusives and a rally. It doesn't look like it. Well, that's probably Golden Ages. So that does five to me. 
If I just take it? I think three is safe. I also just block. I can just block. So we're gonna be at one. That's fine. We live in hollow times. Yeah, I thought we should draw a big zigs. Big zigs. Three two dream. Three two dream one time. I don't know what that card is, but it's gotta be something pretty good. And it won't, won't be, won't do. All right, three two. I brought my own fireworks. GGS. All right, so I liked it. So you know we had Siver, Ziggs, Harold. That was a really good combination. We finally found like our Heralds. The the last games, like our that first game that we lost, if we had a Herald, definitely would have won. The ride negations came in clutch. That one ride negation came in clutch a couple of times. To say I liked almost everything with the deck. The only thing I didn't really like, I think, was the Waste Walkers. I, I don't think that they really contributed as much as they should have. Um, I don't think I would play those going forward. But uh, we have some other good options. So instead of Waste Walker, you know, we want to keep a lot of Shreema cards, of course, for the Golden Ambassador. Right now it was uh, seven Vandal City cards. Um, but I guess, are any of these multi-region... Or yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so three of them are the zigs that are multi-region, which counts as stream also. So the only four are just the chemist and the explosive minefield, which this minefield came in pretty clutch. Anyway, I would I would definitely just play another endless devout and probably another desert naturalist to go along with endless devout. Get that combo in here. And then you have one extra card. I guess you could play a second minefield, but you know, you don't want to miss that golden ambassador. I would say maybe just play maybe get a little bit of removal in here and just have a siphoning strike. Yeah, like that can come in pretty clutch different times. Sivir with the, it's like Sivir's really good with, with Siphoning Strike with the Spell Shield and everything. I think that's what I would do instead of those Waste Walkers. Just, um, I think that's, that, I think those would be good upgrades. Just get another Endless Devout, another Naturalist, uh, good combo there, and then also a Siphoning Strike. And then the Naturalist can blow up your opponent's landmarks. Uh, we had that be... Uh, some trouble there uh, that one i don't remember there's the one game that i need to save the naturalist to pull up their landmark just a couple of small little changes there um over the waste walker but besides that i really liked having siver ziggs harold they look good ziggs is just so big a three four for three you know is as big as three drops get but really you know you destroy your four landmarks really you're getting a four five for three and then if you get anything that buffs it up um man that card is huge all right so that's siver ziggs so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments and let me know what you think of Sivir Ziggs. What do you, how do you like the changes? Anything like that? Um, you know, excited about the Arcane TV series coming out? You know, anything um, at all. I always love seeing those comments. But uh, that's going to be it for Sivir Ziggs. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.